League Baseball on the show for you now as we present coverage from the AAA East. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Iowa Cubs and the Columbus Clippers. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Josh Wolf, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners. Lots of... And now here is Eddie James. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. High and deep to right center. A ball that's carrying. But he has no chance to make going, the play. It's off the wall. Cole blows through the stop sign, headed for home. The tag, and he is out at the plate. So much for our first run of the ball game. With two outs, I totally understand sending him there, but with only one out, you've got to be pretty positive about getting him home safely. Could have been a whole lot better than what they're working with now. Next up is Julio Rodriguez. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Call is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Digging in will be Eddie James as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. I'm so impressed with him and his ability to hit from both sides of the dish. I mean, we've all seen guys that do it, but really, they oh, usually out, struggle from one side of the plate or the other. Not him, though. He's a true switch hitter who has a lot of success from either side. Of the plate. Next to stand oh, in is Eddie James, grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, and I know you want to lace a line driver, hit a potential home run, but I'll tell you what, grab the cheap ribby when it's there. Give me a ground ball, middle of the diamond, and steal a run. Now the 0-1. Tries to drop one down here, but he misses. Strike two. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder giving chase. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And they'll tack on the run with the sack fly. It's now a 4-1 ball game. Ball set for the start of the inning, and standing in is the switch hitting second baseman, Eddie James. Now here's the first offering. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Bottom of the inning now, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Alex Call. Yeah, it's always a nightmare taking on another team's closer trying to get back into a game, especially in the ninth inning. But having your leadoff guy up to start that inning is as good as you could have hoped for. So let's see if he can get Yep, just another successful day at the office for these guys. But this one has a little bit of added significance as that's win number 82 for them on the year. So they're assured of finishing the season with a winning record. Four to two, the final score tonight. The Cubs took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jeffrey Passantino earns the victory in relief in this one, his seventh of the year. Enrique Tejeda closes the door for the save, his 43rd of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB. The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Iowa Cubs and the Columbus Clippers. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Logan Allen will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, one of the things this guy does really well, neutralize the left-handed hitters. On the season, lefties are hitting under 250 against this guy, so whatever he's doing against lefties, it certainly works. And this one on, bounces around he's going, he's going, he's going. against the wall. 
the relay, but he is in there with a triple. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. Well, there's one way to get our first run of the game across. Good hustle there on an RBI triple, and they're in good shape to possibly make it 2-0 with another base hit here. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. The catcher, Jason Castro. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Ready with the one-two. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. So one run on one hit. Like spin. Come on. So now to the plate, Eddie James as the switch hitter will bat right-handed here. This guy loves hitting right-handed against left-handed pitching. Hitting over 350 on the year against left-handed pitching. No balls in one strike. Comes set, and the 0-1. Ramos over at second. Luis at first, one gone. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And that is down on, for Dave, extra going, bases going, as this will get one home and maybe two. The relay throw. And he's out trying for third base, but he'll get credit for two RBIs here. Up next, Eddie James. He doubled home a pair his last time up. Yeah, and he certainly got the wheels trying to stretch a double into a triple. But it's sort of a killer to the club when you can't leg it out. And a dive, but he's back. Hey, you were kid. No one better up there. Let's go. He's set. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. Morgan. Just 24 years of age, he throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and a two-seam fastball. This is pulled into right, and that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? Leading off the inning, it'll be Oscar Gonzalez, and they could use a spark from him here. If you look at their win percentage or something like that right now, got to be honest, the odds are obviously stacked against them. But I'm looking for them to show me something right here. Maybe they get back in this game. Maybe they don't. Next to dig in, Eddie James, as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Yeah, Matt, he's so difficult. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Gone! So it's a two-run shot to right center. Number 26 for him on the season as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. That wasn't the plan. You just have a meeting with your pitching coach to go over some strategy, and all of a sudden you throw one and it leaves the ballpark. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Owen Miller. The center field. Into the windup. Oh, Here's yeah. the two and one pitch. Runs up and gets this one down. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Well, you know, he had a good idea right now. Ready to take his hacks again. Eddie James blasted a two Eddie. run homer in his last Yay. at bat. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. Reined in. Throwing the first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Wow, they were banging on all cylinders from the leadoff man to the number nine guy, the owner. They absolutely cruised to a seven run victory. If it were only always that easy, right? A 9 to 2 finish at the end of this contest. The Iowa Cubs oh, jumped out to an early goal. lead in the first, first and never the looked back. Iowa Zach Cubs. Brown nine records the victory his 13th Go of the year as he racked up 10 strikeouts day. in the effort. Time 
for baseball of the minor league variety as the show brings you coverage from the AAA East. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Iowa Cubs and the Columbus Clippers. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Daniel Espino starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on it? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough go of that so find far it, this it, year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. Hey, after that base knock right there, he's into double digits, Dero. That's a 10-game hitting streak. Oh, you talking about double digits, Dan? Now it's getting firm. We're seeing the batting average go up. We're seeing the homers go up. We're seeing the RBIs go up. Everything is moving north. Next, here is Julio Rodriguez. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close. Called the ball. What does he do? He comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out. Here's the 0-2. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So a couple of hits here in the top half, but nothing. So now into the box is Eddie James. He singled first time up. And the pitch. Ball in. Now the 1 0. Line hard to center field. Miller is right there, one down. Good contact to start out. The Top half of the sixth about to get started. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Eddie James. And a breaking ball backs him out of the way. 1 0 the count. And he misses again, 2-0. and oh. One thing's clear, he's not afraid to pitch inside, right? One pitch ducks him away, then he comes right back with another one. So clearly this pitcher, he's not afraid to work that inner half of the plate. And that is through into right field for a single. So the leadoff man's aboard in their half of the sixth inning. At the plate now is Julio Rodriguez. An error allowed him to reach base in his last appearance. And now they've got him picked off. And they've got the runner hung up between first and second. A tag and he's out as he can't get back in time. So much for that leadoff single. Stepping in once again is Eddie James. He'll have the first crack at it here as we start inning number eight. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's one and all. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Yeah, that's an unbelievable job out of the bullpen. An eight-out save, you don't see that very often anymore. And this afternoon's game ends 7-3. to three. The Clippers jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Daniel Espino earned his ninth win of the year. Patrick Sandoval was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Nick Sandlin records eight outs on his way to the, the save.